Thank you very much, dear viewers. Uh, welcome once more to this channel, uh, Omwando Enoch, your only channel on YouTube on matters disability. Want to know anything on disability? Want to get any news on disability? Uh, just do us the favor of subscribing to Omwando Enoch, your only wonderful channel in town. Uh, welcome, dear viewers, once more. Today, I'm your host, the one and only Brother Power Jared Wilberforce on Omwando Enoch where we have a matter on the desk that we want to discuss, uh, dear viewers. Above all, I'm here with uh, the director of Omwando Enoch, with whom we want to handle a very crucial issue, a very touchy issue, a very weighty issue uh, concerning the conduct, the way the, 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 the National Council for Persons with Disabilities is being run. The conduct of the officers of the council, of, of course that may not be a ma on much discussion, but at least service delivery from the National Council. How are you, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, brother Wilberforce. Hey, guys. Hey, viewers. You're fine, eh? Don't look. Welcome, 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 welcome to today's discussion. I know it will help you. Kindly watch this video to the end, eh? That is how it can help you. Thank you. Thank you, Bana Wilberforce, and uh, welcome. And let's go straight to our topic. Thank you so much, uh, Omando Enoch, the director of Omando Enoch Channel. As I've just told you, dear viewers, Today, we want to discuss a few things concerning the National Council of Persons with Disabilities, NCPWD, in short. Uh, a government agency mandated with the responsibility of all matters, disability, welfare. Now, Enoch. Yes. I think of late, there are some things that have been going on, and the latest being the postponement of the, uh, is it called mapping or mass registration exercise that had been planned to the peak, to the climax, and at the end of the day, it gets postponed, uh, uh, and professionally, I can say, and I have no apology to make. Among that, uh, others, I look at things like uh, educational assistance which was scrubbed out look at the way checks are delaying uh, to be dispersed to schools where we have our children with disabilities rather learners with disabilities learners of persons with disabilities or guidance with disabilities and they take a lot of time this is where i want us to really base our discussion today and see if the national council is really doing a service or a disservice to our people because it really defeats logic. That's according to me. It, it, yes. it defeats logic mm -hmm. that uh, if we can solve the latest incident, yeah. that you can organize for something, send information probably throughout the country. Mm. And then at the 11th hour, you say we have postponed the whole matter till further notice. Let's start right there. Thank you. Thank you, Bana Wilberforce. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've been asking the same, same questions since i heard that they have postponed the exercise for uh mass registration and uh i was like you know as dpos mm -hmm. or the dpos were sent the information and they were told go tell people with the disabilities anybody want to upgrade mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. registration card you know we, we, so you are aware that we moved yeah. to the new system eh? yes. And uh, we're supposed to get the smart cards. Yeah. I, I, I believe it was launched on uh, Friday last yes. week. Yes. I believe that, uh, not I believe, but I saw some uh, officers were given uh, the new card, and uh, I'm sure it was launched officially. So I was like, why organize all those things? Eh? Mm -hmm. Call people with disabilities, tell them, make calls, you know, tell chiefs. Nenda kwa villages huko mtafute people with disabilities we have this and this and we are in, from this date and to this date we are going to have mass registration for persons with disabilities so you, you can imagine the scenario whereby somebody postpones that thing the last minute who is going to compensate this uh the, the chiefs time ile ambayo imetumika you know kutafuta hawa watu the resources zenye zimetumika calling these people who going to who is going to compensate that and na kitu imefanya waka postpone we have even not aware the reason why they postponed before to fikirie story na like compensation or something who tells you if person A had a phone yesterday today they'll have a phone sure what about that person who will wake up tomorrow or the the, the day that <coughs> sorry that had been uh, announced and get to the venue for instance, if somebody was doing it, uh, let's, let's use Nyamira account for instance, talk about somebody in Nyansiongo, 
who is supposed to come from maybe manga or whatever to come to Nyansiongo. Or somebody supposed to come from, uh, uh, call it um, uh, Bogichora, Esise, to Nyansiongo, that kind of stuff. This person, you were able to communicate to him yesterday. The last information he has or she has is that tomorrow or on the given date, there shall be mass registration. Munamuka subu imoja, me postpone. Munamupigia simu, apatikani. Material day, a copy fair, a kuje. You know, before we even think about resources as a my chief now doing, somebody will say, chief alikuwa kazi, ni sawa, we don't refuse. Mm. Somebody will say, DSO alikuwa kazi, ni sawa, we don't refuse. What about these guys who are, who solely depend on others? Actually, unaweza pata, even the others, kuna watu wa people with disabilities, most of them, wawana simu, na maybe mahali wanaishi, hata hakuna labda stima, maybe hiyo ah. simu haikuwa na moto, ah. stima imeenda the whole week, hii ni Kenya yetu, vile stima huwa inapotea. Yeah. So, huyu mtu atakuja kwa venue, na apate, hakuna hile exercise yambaya alitiwa. So, you can imagine that scenario, eh? And again, you'll come back still tell this person to come and attend another mass registration. Do you think that this person is going to trust you? I don't think so. Mm, and then, another, another factor we don't want to forget. Kuna hii kitu pia. Unakuta mtu wali register 2017. Up to date, they haven't received their cards. Yet, we are upgrading the, si the, system. the system. So, when this person gets this knowledge that endeni maali flani mfanyue registration. Kwanza nakuja kiwa na hope like, mini likuwa ni meregister, yangu itakuwa imekuja. Mm. Here you are, five years down the line, he has never, never received. Again, metangaza, and then you postpone at the last, mi the the last, last minute. minute. Are you creating confidence with the council? Or are you, not, are you not showing the public how incompetent you are as a people? Or what's your take on this? That is total incompetent. incompetent because, unajua, as, a, as, as, as an organization, that is National Council for Persons with Disabilities, mm -hmm. This body is there to help people with disabilities. It was created so that people with disabilities were part of services. Raisi. Sasa, it is making the, 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 the lives of the persons with disabilities more difficult. Mm -hmm. Because you know, that shows how disorganized they are. Because this is what they are I'm told, I'm told. Not I'm told, but I even saw mm -hmm. it was circulating. Mm -hmm. Some counties have already done yeah. the mass registration. Sasa hizi county ambazo zimekuwa affected, I think about 22 or 24 counties zenye zimekuwa affected as a Jafanya mass registration. What's, what's this that made them to change the date for these other counties na isha fanyika the other side? Because somebody was telling me ati wali postponed, ati sijuo, ati wakati wali jaribu kuuliza kwa nini mepostponed, mm. uh, kuna, kuna DPOs jaribu kuuliza. Wakambi wati wali postponed because they want to go and take doctors for the training. Sasa nauliza, kama wanapeleka doctor's training ya kurejesta, eh, kufanya the new, you know, the new registration ambayo nimeona form ina circulate mahali kwamba wameleta new form. Kama walikuwa anaenda kufanya hivo. What happens to these ones already? Wanya wamesha fanyua registration, mass registration the other day. Easy counties zingine 40 some, 20 something. Ambazo zisha fanyua. As, are they going to call them for, to change the, 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 the format ya, ya nini? Ya registration form? We talk like this and people think we're talking from the blues. Sometimes what irritates me is, eh, the, so does it mean the other counties that have already done the exercise, their doctors are not trained? I don't know. Or when were they trained so that these other counties didn't have theirs sent for training? Number two, what is this that is so new and so hard that could just mean a postponement of an exercise that had already commenced. You know, this simply tells you how disorganized, how clumsy, how dirty and filthy the council is. Me, this is my, my own opinion. This all surrounds around finances. Now what wakule pesa. To sababu, wezi niambia, there was, you could take 23 counties, finish the exercise without training. Then, 24 are not trained, so you're not doing the exercise. So are you saying, just as you asked, are you saying, tutahacha tena tumalize, turudi tena walata tena zingi tunalify? So does it mean we are going to nullify? That's why, that's, that's how, that is why we are saying that uh, we look disorganized as the National Council for Persons with Disabilities. And by the way, after you, tukiu hapo kwa mass registration, before we move to another point, because uh, you, na amshua mwenye masikia, mesikia, and uh, he or she is going to improve. Uh, on the same, Kwa nini, mkona, you, you have the, 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 the officers in the field, isn't yes. National Council, wako na officers yeah. kwa, kwa field hapa. Lakini, un, mina onanga, most of the mass registration, lazima hatu watume officers from Nairobi, wakuja kusupervise. 
this exercise. That is it mean that these ones who are in the field were incompetent. Are they incompetent? What is your take about that this? That is why I'm telling you, the council is disorganized, not only disorganized, but also clumsy. Then li kwambia pale mwanzo, kuna jamaa na kuna mwanamuke mahali anakula pesa iliotengewa wale mavu. Sababu, then there is no need of having a DSO. And if you watched, maybe sometime back in another channel, we did a, I did a clip where I told you, and I give you a scenario, where two officers come to the ground, they differ on how they want to divide, divide the loot that they have gotten from the registration. It's the same thing with the doctors. Mm. These doctors we have in Nyamira, for instance, I'm sure they are equally qualified. These are people you can call to a meeting for three days and they are done. Mm. Today, you can tell us you are postponing and all of us, all of a sudden what had already commenced. So just to finish on that one. That is why the council, since 2003 up to date, their data does not have registration of 1 million persons with disabilities sure. in Kenya. Whereas, a small DPO in Nyamira has a full registration of four, more than 4,000 members. A DPO that has been there for less than 10 years has a membership of 4,000 and plus from one, ca from one county. Yet, a whole organization with money pumped into it does not even know the right numbers of persons with disabilities because today I can tell you I may be having three cards. And yes. somebody may be having seven. Mm -hmm. Somebody may be having two. And that means one person is counted as three because of the disorganization. Let's move. I think the council, we need to move. Now, there's another thing we need to discuss on yes. this forum. Yes. Let's talk about educational assistance. That's another elephant <laughs> in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I have a problem with the current administration of the council. Mm -hmm. And I don't fear to say when Harun, the CEO, and whoever is uh, by the body yeah they, they they have a new board they they have have a new i think board. they have a new board now are we uh, shall i be wrong to simply say harun you came to the council with other interests how do you come all of a sudden and scrap out educational assistance well knowing that ilikuwa inasaidia wale mavu wengi considering that wale mavu wengi si wengi wamesoma kiwango hicho then all of a sudden hiyo kitu hakuna no communication, no reason why it is not happening. Uh -huh. At Ile, tukiwa on the same, 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 nini yo nyumesema yo. On the same note, hii, yo, 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 pesa ya education assistant, hakuna. Lakini ata hii enyo wanasema wanapeana. Scholarships. Watoto hawana. They don't have those scholarships. Hakuna scholarships in schools. Barua zimeandikuwa, barua zimeandikuwa, unandikuwa commitment. Paka principal ataki kukuamini tena atikuamba, Sasa kama ujatuma hata pesa za nini? No za, za first term sijui za, za, za lini. Why 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 should you you know alafu to make the matters worse ndio unatumia pesa mingi kutuma officer field wakati wa masere jeshi na wakuja kusupervise wenye other officers in the field watumie pa DM na hiyo pesa ingetosha hata kulipa school fees. Hiyo pesa yenye inakuja kwa field. Ebu imagine all the 47 counties. Kila county imetuma officer moja zingine mbili officer wawili. Na hao ah, watu unajua job group zao ni juu. Na na hizi job groups hata wachana mambo ya big old hata kilala kwa kwa mtaro lakini amepatiwa pa DM. So hii pa DM ni pesa mingi. Imagine the whole week. Hii pesa itatosha kulipia mwanafunzi mmoja school fees the whole year. So uh, as you put it kwa nini council ime change ikatoa education assistant initially some of us we are beneficiaries wa education assistant kama si education assistant from the national council for persons with disabilities some of us we could have not even gone to school because we could not be able to afford the school fees lakini sasa hii education assistant imetolewa ati sasa they want to impact on scholarships scholarship yenyewe ni watu wawili peke yao na watu wawili hawapatii with that scholarship I, th I think I think uh, we are losing track as well, national it council. It makes sense if we scrubbed out the the educational assistance, then we have the other school fees that that's the the scholarships done within time frames. But this idea of leaving people in darkness, children are languishing every time until. By the way, painfully enough, yes. some of our children are making laughing stocks in their schools because every time there is an eliminated fees, at our disability peer, in a bit they are talking. Because now, as you put it, the principals have now begun even disbelieving the officers. The council is even putting innocent field officers or county officers, or regional officers, in very awkward situations. Because if somebody wrote a letter in the first term, a candidate in the second term, 
surely how do you even go do you even have the morality to go before a head no. teacher and tell them bad or person are good you cannot how do they trust you so counsel in short if, if we have to clear with this matter i think something is to be done i think Persons with disabilities, DPOs in this country, time has come, we need to come up and go for that which is ours, and particularly on education. You see, that leads Enoch. Yes. For example, on Paka Squeezy, Kulkonga funding your international day mm. for persons with disabilities. Yes. Walikulia, kulia, walikulia, kulia kwa 50,000. Yeah. No, I don't fear saying this because I'm part of the team that made noise until it was increased to 100,000. 100, Today, all of a sudden, even that celebration, is not funded then somebody will write sit somewhere in the name of harun on behalf of i don't know which minister and write a speech and take it to the people i would i would urge our people at the county levels not to give attention to those speeches what is your take yes uh, in, in the in the issue of uh international day uh i'm told that i mean meskia is a rumor squamba this year national council might not fund International day. Uh, your person, you know, some of you hundred thousand this year. Kuna was a kind of uh, Of course, not confirmed, yeah. but uh, to meskia rumor has it. Kwamba kuna was a kind of your person. Itakuwa. And that's a mina uliza. I mambo ya disability. You know, you have a constitution. Last year, I could hear. Last year, I was in that. Last year, I was someone in Corona. So, Jimmy Mashula. The other year, twenty twenty. You know, we are not too old to forget. Twenty twenty. They said they could have corona, so they were buying PPEs to schools. Sawa. Last year, it wasn't there. This year, at Jajua, but is it rocket science? What else do you need to be shown that this money may not be anywhere? If today we are a week away to the international day, okay, and the look at So, come on, international day, Yakuna. Your person may save you. To assume you hundred thousand times forty seven counties, <laughs> you need to join person gapi. Yeah, you four point seven million. See, see you in a to, see you in a tosha kuli pia watoto school fees. Kwa ni ni utoa education asisi. Ii person inge awa at least kila county ata kama wangu pia na hundred thousand shillings. Eh, watoto wa disability wali pia ata twenty thousand per per child. Is only five. Five. You are no students watano or learners. Na hao student watano. Sasa ubaya ni ile wanasema they will not fund. Na hiyo budget bado pesa hiko ya National Council wanapati bado wanapatiwa their budget. Sasa hiyo pesa ionekani kitu yenye nafa, ionekani kitu yenye nafanya. We are not even not we, we are not receiving uh, assistive devices. Hakuna msijui ile tulikuwa tuna, tunapewa ya economic empowerment. Hakuna economic empowerment. I know of several groups zenye zilikuwa zenye zilikuwa qualified na zikapitishwa na committee ile ya kupitisha kwa counties for economic empowerment funds. Lakini up to date, Hawajay received their check. No Sasa mina uriza hii pesa ya council. Inaenda wapi? What is not happening with the council? I think we need to do something. As you said, mm. DPOs, we need to do something. We need to make noise. Naona kama tunarudi hile, hile enzi za zile za zamani tena kwa kati yeah. national council ilikuwa yeah. imeweko kwa mfuko za watu. A few people were benefiting from national council. So we need people to come out and make noise. And see your noise, just noise constructive noise constructive. kama ni kuenda na national council offices to 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 one to it is high time to funke your national council office to to to, to, to iran away from the ministry better it in kama ndio tunaweza serve well in as fact, people with disabilities in fact it makes no it makes no sense for a council to be there you ask them a question today i'm sure and i'm very sure and i can tell you for free they do not know how many of us are in nyamira they yet don't. yet it is their mandate their budget there is a budget every year we have never had uh, uh, this in Jami program in as much as it could be from the social protection what have you but there is money all over education assistance for metoa nothing they are doing nothing to us akuna white ken akuna wheelchair do we really need this council william ruto our president we are, you are so good in disbanding organizations me i think it's high time even the council got disbanded it is making no meaning. Instead, Bwana, I must say this as we end. Mm. You know, you can't be coming up with very funny programs. You heard the other time they were creating posts mm. here and there. Another time they were saying, oh, we want to create supervisors, regional supervisors. 
You know, supervisors are just about responsibilities. That's from my, our own findings. We don't even talk to some of those people. So I'm going to ask you, 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 I think we're going back to those days when girlfriends and boyfriends were being rewarded using money meant for persons with disabilities. But as you put it clearly, people with disabilities watching this on Omwando Enoch channel, it is our time, do we, it is, it's high time, we came up strongly and said no to what we believe is nonsense because ile siku za machupa bro njoo kitambo ilikuwa ni radio moja tu so hata kitu kifanyika leo tunaweza kosa kujua today there is information we are here giving you information yes. let's stand up let's take our position even the bible says when yes mimi soma biblia saa nyingine as we we wonder yes the book of uh, second chronicles says somewhere take your position stand firm and see the deliverance of the lord take your position people with disabilities stand firm and see the deliverance of your activism so neno la mwisho tumalizie bro Nero langu la mwisho ni kwamba I'm communicating to the leadership ya National Council for Persons with Disabilities the headquarters mm-hmm. that is where we have the problem mm-hmm. go and check where the rain started beating us mali mulipotelea murudi to the to the limelight eh kwa sababu it's like we are losing it mm-hmm. we are losing the track we are losing the meaning of National Council for Persons with Disabilities it was brought in by our the late uh, president kibaki so that wana, wat, watu wenye ulemavu waweze ku benefit but we are making lives za walemavu kuwa difficult every now every every day every day every month every year maisha inaendelea kuwa magumu hii pesa ya national council ndio watu wengine walisomea ile wakati wa zamani sasa wewe ukuje leo unaanza kutoa hiyo pesa hiyo ni makosa kubwa last advice anything that you want to do as national council for persons with disabilities make sure that you consult the stakeholders bro. consult the stakeholders okay. stakeholders in this sense ni kinanani ni sisi people with disabilities are on the main stakeholders eh? consult them muone ni gani inaweza fanyika na ni gani sio kuamka asubuhi na unakuja na hii unaamka kesho unakuja na kitu kingine mgeni consult with stakeholders Thank you Wilbur for you can finish. Uh, thank you so much uh, Omando Enoch dear viewers if I add on this one I'll dilute this soup and it has been very nice. I want to encourage you to get to YouTube search for Omando Enoch subscribe comment share and like our views uh, our 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 epi- episodes dear viewers on behalf of every other person our sound engineer and pictorial engineer uh, brother Geoffrey our director Kevin Arisa on behalf of my director this has been your presenter Jareda Wilberforce till next time bye bye